I've noticed that uh, the only time I see anti-drug commercials is like the minute I do drugs, you know? <laughs> Like, I don't know if they just run a lot of anti-drug commercials during Saved by the Bell. <laughs> or if a partnership for a drug-free America has, like, bugged my apartment, you know? <laughs> They're just like, no, hold, hold. What is that? Five minutes, go, go, go. <laughs> it's ridiculous, you know? Because every time I get high, there's that little girl walking by the pool, <laughs> unsupervised. <laughs> Thinking about just diving in, that anti-drug voice comes in, it's like, just tell her mom you let her drown in the pool because you're getting high. What? What are you talking about? Because you know what? I do drugs all the time. I never let a little girl drown. I've never even had a close call. I was like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> then there's the other one, the one with the kids who are about to get run over in the drive-thru. You guys seen this one? It's a little girl on a tricycle and the kids plow over her in like an explorer or something, you know? Anti-drug voice coming like, don't run over girls at the drive-thru because we're high. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And that would never happen. And if it did happen, whose fault would that be? Right? <laughs> I'm stoned trying to get, you know, a chalupa at Taco Bell. Or the little girl whose parents left her tricycle at a drive-thru. <laughs> you want to go for a ride, honey? There's a Wendy's three blocks down. Dude, donuts outside the pickup window. Some stoners want you 